Well, good morning and welcome to this Saturday, November the 29th version of Sunrise to Sunset. I hope you have enjoyed the tea letters this week and that you are ready to look forward to the season of Advent, which begins tomorrow in the Christian church. Um, this is a very special season as we begin a new lectionary cycle and a uh, this will be lectionary year B, which means that the gospel we will be looking at over the course of the uh, next year will be the gospel of Mark. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to be ignoring other, other gospels, but that means that, that means that this year we're going to be emphasizing Mark. So guess what? Um, beginning on Monday, we will be focused on the gospel of Mark. So you might want to go ahead and start doing a little bit of reading. I'm going to do this kind of like I did Matthew in the sections that I feel like we need to take. So it's not going to be book or chapter at a time like we've been doing uh, recently. I also want to let you know that uh, Pastor Stephanie and I have uh, been meeting with other staff members and planning a theme around this around this Advent season called Signs of Promise. We know that we're hearing a lot of news about how things are getting uh, worse with the virus, and yet we hear the promise of a vaccine, and uh, we don't know about the availability of it, but in our heart of hearts, we are confident that that the promises of God are good and true. And the message of, of this Advent season is going to be to lift up those signs of promise so that hopefully in doing so, we can help lift up the church. Um, that's, kind of what, that's kind of what those uh, pastoral epistles are about, is lifting up the church. That's kind of what those letters to the Thessalonians was about. Um, in order that they may be encouraged to continue in their faith. And so as we head into this Advent and then later Christmas season, we hope that you will be with us in worship. We hope that you will, if you decide to attend in person, that uh, you will wear your mask, uh, sanitize your hands often, sit six feet apart, unless, of course, you're in the same household, and also... We hope you'll stay home if you don't feel comfortable coming to in-person worship. And if you stay home, well, we hope you'll join us with our YouTube transmissions so that you can be a part of what's going on right now at Seaside as much as possible. We love you all. We want to continue to remind you that you are lifted in our prayers. We hope you all had a safe and wonderful uh, Thanksgiving week. And our, our prayer is that all will continue to lead us into this season of Advent with signs of promise from sunrise to sunset.